Okay. Welcome to the next office of this uh, class, which is the modeling part. So I've shown you how to turn on the power pivot in case you cannot see it. I'm going to go through it once again. So click on file and go to option. Then from option, go to this particular add-ins right here. And you click on Excel add-ins and go to com add-ins and click on go. So now if it is actually checked, I cannot st I'll still see it. Uncheck it and click on OK. Go back to the process again and come and check it and click on OK. You will definitely find it, you know, right here. So now we've just clicked on it. So I'm going to click right here at this particular manage. If I click on manage now, wow, we have a new view. So those are all the tables we actually imported inside our, you know, our power our query claim that and actually, you know, do some transformation. If you look at it now, it's giving us this view that, oh, something is actually wrong with this. Can you see it? What we have right here is actually, you know, column one down to column 19, which means we did something wrong a bit right here. So we have to just go ahead and fix it and come back right here and see how things can go. So what you can do to step off from here is to click on this particular Excel, you know, switch right here. So we're going to go to store lookup, do this, and uh, we can look at our store lookup right in here. So right click and go ahead and click on edit. Okay, if you look at what is wrong with that store lookup is that we did not remove this. I think we did this, maybe we reverted this, I don't know why. So another way to do this now is just come in here now and just make sure you remove the blanks, then click on OK. Let's see what we have. So the blanks are actually gone. So the next thing now is for you to promote the header. So we can go right here on home and you can see where it says use false through as header. So that has been done and the changes to the data type has been made for us. So let us go scroll through this end and see if we have any other. So we have some other blanks. Now I'm going to start from here and I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Just scroll, 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 scroll. So we still have, now this is where we have no data too. So now you can just click on the delete key on your keyboard and have that removed. So I think we have what we need right here. That is beautiful. As I always say, you just have to take, in, take away what you are not going to use. We're not going to use the phone number. We're not going to use this and this as well. So we can just get it off. So let us quickly just load this back to our power, uh, uh, the power pivot. And now we can go back to that particular, you know, power pivot environment and show you things that you need to know about it. So click back right here. So go to this particular power pivot and click on manage. There you have it. So we have two views right here. We have the data view where you can see the data live and direct. And you can click through the tables right here to switch between different tables right in this particular power pivot. You know, can you see it now? We have the data view. On the data view, you see every single columns, what you have sitting inside them. And we have this one called diagram view. On the diagram view, you see the tables, not data inside the tables. You see all the columns that has, uh, that has, that is actually inside the table. And now this is where we can do the arrangement of our tables and actually link them up together to create, you know, lookup, which we ordinarily, which would have done with X lookup, you know, index and match or V lookup and uh, H lookup. So right here, we don't do that we just do normal drag and drop and that is all so before we do that we need to understand something so that we can actually create you know normal lookup table so let's see how that works <laughs> 